Look, we're finally here. Um, how are you and all the boys feeling now to actually be in the Championship playoff final? Oh, mate, it's absolutely class. I mean, um, it's, it's what you want all season. And every team, that's, that's, that's the end goal at the end of the day. And we're here now. Uh, it's been a long season. Um, I know as everyone's finishing now, all the boys are a bit like, you know, the energy can be a bit low, but we're all just backing each other and we're on, on each other's backs and everyone's confident now. We're just looking forward to tomorrow. And how much is the feeling that you know these can be the games where you really finally peak? We finally see the best of Yorkshire Carnegie because we've seen it in glimpses, but we know there still seems more to come. Do you feel? Yeah, like that? Def there's definitely more to come. I mean, um, I don't feel like we've shown everything this season. Uh, I think in, mid, mid, in the mid part of the season when we had our like five losses on the bounce, we've definitely like took a lot from that the most. Uh, we've learned a lot and we've developed. And I hope when tomorrow comes and when the fans come down, hopefully there's a decent crowd and. We can just put on a good show for them and obviously it's, it's, play, it's, it's playoff rugby, it's the final, do you know what I mean? We want to score points and hopefully take it into that second leg. Obviously you've always had to play this season with, with pressure and expectation because you are Yorkshire Carnegie, you are the second biggest team in the league. Do you think going into this one that changes and the pressure is on, on them or uh, is the final it's all pressure? I think it's all pressure at the end of the day but it's how we deal with it. I think at the end of the day as long as we all stick together and we don't... We don't we don't listen to that pressure, we just kind of just focus on our own job at the end of the day. It's just one job after another. We're not looking at the, the second leg, it's just it's all about tomorrow. It's all about just, just playing how we play and just, and just looking after each other, really. How much will you draw on the big game experiences you've had, particularly with England in the past, to help you through? Oh, definitely. I think I think for me, uh, I'm not really one of the lads in the change rooms who's kind of like shouting and talking a lot. I just like to take my own time and just think about the game and think about my own job. And then if you think about your own job, then it just it knock, it's a knock-on effect for everyone else. And uh, I think, um, like I say, man, I just, we just can't wait to get out tomorrow and play. And just on a more kind of general point, I've talked about what will happen to the, in the future of the championship. As a young prop coming through, how much have you learnt playing at this level, playing against people that are more experienced than you, that maybe have tried to old man you? Has it been a good development? It's, yeah, it's been class. Really enjoyed it. I think if, if I'd never had my experience this year, I wouldn't be going on to, to what I'm doing next year and, and so on. And just in my career, I think it's a massive part of your development to play to play in this league. I've really enjoyed my time here. And uh, like I say, tomorrow it'll be a, a test of what I've, what I've developed and what I've, what I've achieved so far. So hopefully we can just stick to our game plan and get a result. And how much does that drive you on that you leave here getting them into the Premiership having come through the academy? Oh definitely, I just feel like I owe the club a lot. Um, like I say, I've come through the academy and like I say, tomorrow I'll be playing with some of my teammates, well even my housemate Max Green, like just to be alongside them in a final is class, it's, it's second to none, you know, you can't really beat it. And how important is it that this team, the first team is doing really well to ensure that academy continues over the next few years to bring more people like you through, Max, the Danny Cares of this yeah. world? Uh, that's definitely important, man. I think the, the academy is strong here and I think they'll continue to, to keep developing good talent. There's a lot of talent around Yorkshire um, and like I say, it just, it's, it's one of them where that keeps going and just, just the, the talent just keeps coming through. Yeah. And for London Irish then, what, what are you expecting from them? What's their good front row going to be like? Uh, it's going to be physical in at the end of the day, um, especially a tight head with, uh, with Franks and we, we know what the challenge they're going to bring. It's going to be physical, it's going to be fast. Um, and we just got a match at and if we can we better it and you know I, I always say like you never know what's going to happen on the day so you just got to just stick to your job and hopefully you come out on top. What kind of challenge is that going to be like against Franks? Uh, poor, he's a strong boy, a uh, very strong boy. I think... Um, You're not weak yourself though. No, well, <laughs> I, don't know about, I don't know about that mate. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think... Uh, I think you just got to match it mate. I think there's, there's no kind of... I just don't think about that too much when I'm playing. I just think about just giving my all being as aggressive as I can be and hopefully I can just lead by example in that sense so I'm on the bench tomorrow so hopefully when I come through I, um, I'll just go on and just give it my all. Do you think you need to win that first leg to, and take a lead to Madeski or if it's still close it doesn't would you be confident going there? Yeah I think obviously you want to win it, it doesn't matter whether it's final or not you always want to win like that, that's just that's the way it is but I think it's the points that's important we've got to be scoring tries we've got to be taking the points at the end of the day that's what that's what's going to lead into the second leg but we just want to win the game we're not we're not thinking about the second leg we're just thinking about winning that game and the intensity particularly in the first leg against Ealing was so impressive is that again something you have to really bring particularly defensively have that real intensity give them no time at all yeah definitely defensively we've got to be on point i think uh, defense is massive you know what i mean it's, it's your character at the end of the day it's we, we can stop them from scoring points at the end of the day that that for that next game it just makes that margin just smaller um i think we'll definitely be looking to just have an aggressive defense and get some land speed on them because if we let them play they're dangerous you've seen what they're like all year they're a top team and i, I can't fault them like it's going to be a tough challenge